Hello, I'm Robin and welcome to the Molten Motion Meter. It's a visualizer of voltage, a seer of signals. It visualizes what's going on. It allows you to plug modulation in or audio in and see exactly what sort of levels you're getting. You can then adjust it, attenuate, attenuvert and kick it back out again as either a mixed form of modulation or as individual channels. It's simple, it's beautiful, it lights up like a good one in your rack and I'm just going to give you a quick overview of how it works. So the idea behind the motion meter was my desire to be able to visualize modulation, to be able to see what an LFO was doing through a patch, to better connect visually and orally to what the heck was going on with the modulation and signals in my patch. And that at a basic level is what we have in the molten motion meter. Now there's three channels, independent channels, although they do also do a little bit of shenanigans in there too, but they can either be set to CV, inverted CV, or audio. And then all you do is take something like an LFO, plug it in, and you get this beautiful display of the voltage going through with the knob to attenuate down to whatever sort of level that you like, plus or minus 10 volts, giving you the full range. You could then, for instance, plug in an envelope into channel two. And have that fire, you could then invert it and scale it back to exactly the sort of envelope that you wanted. Channel three could be audio, plug in the output of something going through it. So I'm now monitoring, visually monitoring, an LFO going through the top, an envelope going through here and audio going through the bottom. And very quickly it becomes a little control center for your patch, for your modulation, for your level. You could have loads of these things peppered around your case doing different things the different little bits and pieces, putting out different modulations, putting out different levels and signals and all the time showing you exactly what was going on. But there's a little bit more going on than that. If I unplug these two inputs, I can use these as purely 10 volt voltage generators. Or if I unplug these outputs, then channels one and two will sum to channel three. So anything I plug in the top will be reflected in channel three. So I've also put in the envelope into channel two. That'll also come down. So I've got channels one and two being combined into channel three, which I can then use as an offset. in either direction. So it very quickly becomes a combination engine. It becomes a place where you can combine waveforms, combine modulation, and then all squirt it out of a single output. And I can still add another one via three. Or it's quite nice to put in a little bit of randomness. In fact, one of my favorite patches is to take the top one as audio 
And then I've got level control over the filter. I've got envelope going in. And I've also got some randomization from channel three. If I take out that randomization, then I've just got an offset. Which also works really well. But it's superb in live performance because I can see it, I can identify it, I can reach out and grab it without any bother whatsoever. I'm not going to get lost because you can see what's going on. You know, you could run one of these for every filter voice and have complete confident control over exactly what's going on. Or how about two? Three channels of audio going into this one. Here I've got two modulations combined out of the output of three and one doing its own thing at the top. So there you have it, the Molten Motion Meter is beautiful, it's dazzling, bright and lovely in your rack. It's going to look fantastic. Thanks very much. In the meantime, go make some tunes. <laughs>